one. This is just a quick little before the video begins as, quite honestly, I recorded this a while ago and I was going to re-edit it, but I'm like, I can't because most of the stuff that I wanted to say has been said and to be quite honest it's just easier to put the video out and then create a part two so i think that's what i'm going to do i'll put the video out as is because a lot of the points that i make still are relevant to them and i do get angry and i allow that you guys like that so yeah the short answer is there will be a part two to this where i react to a couple of the clips of ai but it probably won't be for a couple weeks but i wanted to get this video out this week because it's still pretty relevant to the discussion anyway that's it for this I uh, enjoy the video. Hello, everyone. It's the me, Game Make One. The ba ba ba. Messed that up. Hello, everyone. It is the me, Game Penguin Twenty One, and today we are going to be talking not about games today, oddly enough, because this came across my feed about a week ago ish, and well, I wanted to talk about it. I made a shorts video on it. Uh, day or two ago and I wanted to make a fuller longer length video on this because quite honestly AI art has gotten to the point where sometimes it can be distinguishable but at the same time this one is the most interesting and weird stupid update that I have probably about anything to do with AI art so for those of you who may or may not know Shadowversary or the person here depicted in their shad who is the brother of Jazza who is actually a pretty big um artist in the artist community is from what i know is boasting about how quote his skills has improved with ai assisted art now again ai assisted art and ai art are kind of difficult to really talk about here so if you're talking about ai art in the sense that you're using an ai to create the art uh no but you can see from the actual screenshot that i will provide here what we're going to be talking about as I will be talking about some of the actual quotes and things that he has said in this whole thing. So, and I'll give my opinion on AI art in the meantime of this. So, starting off with the actual quote that kind of tipped this whole thing off to me was, My skills are increasing. Making a video as we speak, showing my process and how I get these results. The level of artisty, artis, artisty, arti artsy needed i think he meant to say art artistry i guess i guess it is artistry i just dyslexia the level of artistry needed the technical knowledge required and the amount of work involved i think this is going to shock people and then he releases a video based upon this i think he releases two videos i think he released two videos by the time that i uh, actually came across this uh actual video depending on the data and stuff like that. But those videos are like 30 to an hour minutes long. And let me just be clear here. I don't need to watch those videos to really understand what the heck's going on here. See, mainly what he's trying to say is that this sort of AI-assisted art is good because his quote-unquote skills have increased, because he knows how to iterate and how to get the AI to know exactly what he does by putting in the different prompts and things. And even if he doesn't put in those different prompts and just maybe uses some sort of texturing and stuff, you are still sampling a bunch of different pictures and artistries and stuff like that in order to make an image that doesn't really exist. Not only that, Many people on the quote retweets have pointed out the differences between these two sucks because of the fact that she's lit from the front, but also in the in the picture there, she's lit from the back. Now, that's not the most egregious thing, and I'm fairly certain any actual good artist or better artist than I should say for myself can point out all the different things in here, and I will probably put up some of the quotes there. Probably not, because I just don't want to put any more effort into this video than obviously he put into this video, uh, this actual art, p art piece, quote-unquote. But uh, to read this sort of thing here for those just listening, he says, the AI skills six months ago to the AI-assisted art skills now and there really isn't that much of a difference the only real big difference is that the lighting might have gotten a little bit better and the background's gotten a little bit more detailed but even still it still looks like the same ai generated garbage that sucks the massive amounts of donkey balls that all ai art tends to talk about he says don't tell people your ai don't tell don't let people tell you ai art ai art requires no skill and you quote just push a button that to make the ai assisted art Listen, 
for me personally, if you want to tout AI-assisted art as being good art, you don't seem to know what good art is. I have taken an actual full-on class as to distinguish what AI, what good art is versus what bad art is. And good art tends to, you know, not make people quote-unquote fucking upset and is actually worth something. And is made with the creative freedom and integrity of a human being. That a human being was behind this. Oh, but they actually made a human being because I made the art. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. All that you did was tell a program to say, hey, go out and sample all of these things from all of these different arts from all of these different places and make something new out of that by combining, sampling, and completely remixing to make something that I didn't create. And just because you made the prompt for it or you are the person who was working on the AI to create this art, no, you did not make the art. The computer made what it thinks art is because computers don't think the same way that a human does. But of course, this is more of an update to that story because he's done this previously with AI art, as I have previously talked about. But we wanted to look at the full actual retweet that he did of his own tweet a few days later. So let's talk about this and let's read through this here. <clears throat> This post is triggering so many people. They really hate that I unapologetically love AI art and that I try to help artists adapt to this new reality and technology. Hmm. Fuck off. AI art is not going anywhere and crying about it, d dogpiling my posts, saying vile and hateful things to me will do nothing to stop AI art or stop me from loving it. Having the time of my life creating awesome art and trying to help and share a message of hope about this technology. You sound like a religious fucking zealot that is just going to preach the word of AI art and that it is a valid form of all things art. When in actuality you are taking out the fucking human element of what art goddamn is. Hmm. I've addressed all the claims and criticisms about AI art in several in-depth videos that it's not theft, it's not, according to him, that it's not that it requires no skill, it does, that it's going to destroy art, it won't, that it's going that it looks like crap, it looks amazing, that it isn't art. It is to me and anyone looking at it honestly, and that's all that counts. Let's break down each of these points then, shall we? From someone who actually does art both 2D and 3D and has his own Gumroad, link down in the description below if you want to actually buy some of my stuff, to actually make this sort of art. And again, has a fucking degree in graphic design to be able to tell you to go fuck yourself. So let's talk about this. That it's theft. Actually, it is. If you're not giving quote un if you're not giving references or you're using the reference images without actually getting consent from the people, I understand that people use reference images all the time. However, they at least can point to and give credit to those people. You can't. With AI art, it samples hundreds, if not thousands, of different images that people post online. Those posted images then get funneled through a sampling program, so you don't even know who you're actually talking about. And, in oftentimes, you can literally, literally be straight up stealing artwork from people because of this fact. You can't credit the artist, therefore you can't give proper credit to the people who are actually making the work that you are referencing or sampling from. Two, that it requires no skill. Him saying that it does means that, guess what, it fucking doesn't. All you would really need to do to make any quote-unquote good AI art is to literally put a prompt in a computer and then have that computer, again, sample hundreds if not thousands of pictures in order to then create an image that itself doesn't know is not art. It just thinks that it is because that's what people program it to do. That it's going to destroy art. This is the only thing that I don't think will actually go anywhere. Saying that this is destroying art is a little bit extreme. It might destroy certain human elements of art, but at the same time, I don't think it will destroy art in general because of the fact that, well, 
artists will continue to make art regardless of whether or not this computer thing sort of comes around. And again, AI art is not destroying art, nor is it pushing art forward. It's literally just a thing that seems to be a cyst that's taking a lot of eyes off of actual artists. So, yeah. That it looks like crap. It does look like crap. And again, as someone who himself has seen crap pictures and crap art like made by actual human beings, they those crap pieces of art look better and at least seem to actually be made by a human rather than being made by an AI art. So... Again, that's more of an opinionated thing, but I personally, and the majority of people who actually do use AI art or have seen AI art and have used AI sort of generations and stuff like that, I misspoke before. I don't use AI to create my art. So, yeah, I'm just getting angry. But that the last one, that it's not art, that's more of a, again, one of those weird definitions because art itself it's, it's very loosey-goosey. But, as I explained before, one of my biggest reasons is that there is no human element to this AI art. And that's the most important thing, distinguishing good art and art in general versus things that a computer can program and create. So, yeah. The hate mob... No, they can't win the argument and can't stop me having a great time with this incredible technology and sharing it with others. So they resort to attacking and dogpiling. But the thing is, it's truly amazing how powerless the hate mob is when you just ignore them. A special video is coming out soon sharing my love for AI art and how artists can benefit the most from this amazing technology. Look. If you want to create AI art for your own personal gain, for your own personal images, and maybe even to just create, like, say, reference images from, like you say, like, in all honesty, what I, what I think would be a good use of AI art is for more reference material. Like you say, you can't find a specific image that you're looking for, but you want to use the AI art more for reference, but not to actually use the AI art in anything more than a private sense. I can agree to that. If you're just doing it for fun, I can agree to that. But if you are actively saying that artists themselves can benefit from a computer that can't tell the difference on how to make good hands, that can't tell the difference on what art they're sampling, that doesn't understand the difference in how art is actually formed, or at the very least, doesn't understand that art itself is a human element that is created by humans for humans, and that it's a very out there universal human experience, right? Human experience that art is and what art is and what creates art is human, right? Then no, it's not art. By the definition of you need a human element to create the image to make it, no. You can have a human element, maybe, but that human element is completely lost, distorted, and completely destroyed whenever you use anything having to do with AI art. You may have been the one to put in the prompt. You may have been the one to even create the actual code for it. Or you may be one of the people that's, that wants to create an, a weird image for that. But look, that's not to say that I hate AI art. I do hate AI art when someone puts it in the perspective of actual art, in saying that art itself is wildly different now. And to be clear, this dogpiling and hating on my actual art skills is good because it fuels me and it gives me the power to put these images out and say that I have improved. When in actuality... Sir, understand that art, right, true, good, actual art contains the entirety of a human experience created by a human to be able to tell a human story. It has nothing to do with taking a bunch of images, remixing them together, and creating an image that looks ten bajillion times worse to anyone with an actual eye for art who has taken an actual degree in art and does do this for people who actually pay them money no you are not an artist because you use a program 
like this to be able to create something that is not art by any definition, period. Anyway, I got a little bit more angry than that than I normally do, and quite honestly, I think that I'm done talking and ranting about this for the time being. Overall, what is my final conclusion on this? To be very frank, AI art, to me, is fun. It's nice. It's a cool, interesting aspect that we can take a computer and have it make an actual art piece. But... Speaking from experience as someone who's done both coding in an art program, i.e. IE processing, as well as actually done real art, i.e. taken and sat down and done digital art as well as real life art as well as 3D modeling and art like that, and having basically the entirety creative process and a degree in graphic design to be able to say I have the experience necessary to create good works of art no AI art is not art it's a fun little experiment a fun little thing that can be called just a reference image or just something that exists true art is human full stop Anyway, that'll about do it for this video. If you like what it is that I do and want to support me in any way, shape, or form, links to everything down in the description below. Again, I'm sorry for this big, massive, long rant, but I just wanted to talk about this because, quite honestly, it's another interesting thing that Shadowversity has done, and I'd be remiss to not talk about it again. Anyway, my name is GamePenguin21. Thank you so much for watching, and a peace off.